see. Oh god. Can you see that? Awful, awful regrowth. You know how we fix that, don't you? Ugh, what am I talking about? I'm, I have a subject. I have a subject! Wow! Okay, so. I was going to talk about work, I guess. I was, yeah, I was going to talk about work. Um, so. Okay. Here's the deal. Um. Here's the thing, right? Um, I've been doing work for Dad. Like, um, <coughs> physical, manual labour. You know, going and painting things and cleaning ceilings and, you know, handyman jobs with, you know, the Smithy's handyman shirt. Lovely uniform there. Um, and, um, you know, that's what I was doing. And then I set up my own, like, as some of you know, people who know me, um, I set up my own little dog grooming parlour downstairs. And today I got business cards. Ow, ow, ow. Today I got business cards! <gasps> Hot doggy! It, it says pet wash and groom, and then it says my name, and then it says my number, and then it says booking is, bookings essential, and, and then it says my address, and then it has a website. And, and on the back, it has more words. It says, Hydro wash all sizes $15, includes hydro bath, blow dry, and cologne. Regular clients, every six wash free. Washing clip from only $35. Small size, basic clip, appointment essential. <clears throat> okay, so, yeah. I have business cards. And, and, and. I have magnets as well. Magnets. Okay, well, obviously they don't stick to me because I'm not made of. Hematite. Um. Anyway, so that's two things, right? Oh, um, with my dad's business now, I usually just do office work, um, over there on that computer. Why am I pointing the computer? You can't actually see it, but I'm telling you the computer's over there, but I could just tell you it's over there, but, but it actually is over there, I'm not lying. It's, it's there, just... Anyway, um... Why is my post-it note? Why, why are my post-it notes there? My post-it notes. My post-it notes. Okay, um, so that's two things, right? Um, but what happened was I got, like, a huge phone bill. Like, huge phone bill. Like, oh my god, I didn't think it was physically possible. So my dad went all crazy and stuff, and was like, you have to get a job now! And I'm like, I have jobs, and he said, you're not earning enough money, and I want you to pay me back for the phone bill. So I was like, okay. And so then I applied at McDonald's at the Maya Center, where Ryan works. And, and then my dad, I told him I applied at McDonald's, but my dad, in an attempt to be helpful, like we went up to the coffee shop um, yesterday, and um, I, I had to go buy bread, and then I came back, and the manager comes up, and she's like, oh, would you like to do a trial thing tomorrow? Um, just come in at 10 o'clock, and we'll do a trial. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And then, yeah, so I did a tr trial today, and I'm like, why would you do that, Dad. I already applied at McDonald's. Ah. And then, of course, when I got home, there was a voicemail from McDonald's saying, <coughs> come in for an interview tomorrow. So I'm going for an interview tomorrow. The only thing is, I'm really bad at, like, interviews. And, like, because I can do the work. I'm fine with customer service and being all friendly and all that crap. But I'm just really bad at interviews in the first place. I get really nervous and stuff. And, um, like, uh, when I work today at the coffee shop, Yes, yeah, so I got the fucking job there to be right, wouldn't it? Um, she was like, oh, you seemed nervous. And I think I'll just start you on weekends until your confidence builds up. Yes, I was nervous for like 
the first 15 minutes. And then, of course, she was at the back for the rest of the time. She didn't see that I just slipped back into my routine from working at the coffee club where I used to work. And it was fine. It's exactly the same job, except you don't have to take their order at the table, so it's actually easier. But no! I'm not confident enough. I just freak out a little bit when I'm doing a new job and I don't know what I'm supposed to do and where things are and then they tell me to do something and then I do it and then I don't know what to do. I'm really bad at like talking to people like any form of situation with social interaction I'm really crap with. Like um a couple of people working the other day introduced themselves to one guy's like Hey, I'm Thomas. And I'm like, I'm Christy. Uh, hi. And then this other guy, oh. Because I was mostly cleaning tables, you know, wiping the tables and clearing dishes and taking coffees out to people and stuff. And the cloths were in, like, a bucket of soapy, dirty water. And um, I picked up the cloth. And so my hand was covered in the soapy, dirty water. And this guy comes up, he's like, hey, how's it going? Good. What's your name? I'm Christy. Hi, I'm Marcel. Puts out his hand. I'm just like, I drop the cloth and I'm just like, <laughs> and he's like, ugh. <clears throat> so then I shook his hand with my non disgusting hand. And then he said, uh, Oh, so is this your first day or is this just a trial? I'm like, Oh, it's just a trial. And, and then there was kind of like this awkward silence sort of thing. And, oh, I just sort of did this really goofy smile and this even this weird sound. I don't know what came out and it came over me. I don't know why. I was just like, <laughs> and then I just turned around and walked off. <laughs> oh, why? Anyway, so I could possibly have four jobs now. It's getting kind of late. And I could be at Macca's by 11. So I think I'm done with the rambling. Yeah. <sighs>